I'm Sir Tap Tap, and let's play Fishing and Life. I meant to do a video of this, like, <laughs> months ago, as these things usually do. Um, I was even kind of gonna do a guide for it, but it seems... I don't know. You just kind of do things. It's a fairly straight progression curve. It's a little confusing sometimes, but basically, you hit a fish, you want to cast your fishing line. Yes, hello, Parker. And this game has a kind of frustrating, in some ways, system where you gotta kind of catch a smaller fish, then you treat it as bait. Hello, Parker. And then you throw it in there, and then you can get bigger fish. The problem, unfortunately, is that when you do that, sometimes you get a smaller fish than you wanted from the second one. But you catch fish. I really like the graphics. I would say that's probably my uh, favorite aspect. It's a little bit cryptic in terms of how you get get through things. And it's, uh, it's, I'm probably going to make it more cryptic than it truly is because I haven't played it for a long time. But really nice chill game. It's kind of a semi-idle game. I mean, <laughs> the upgrade walls are kind of silly. It's just like, yeah, you, you can't go there. There's not really a lot of... There's, there's not been a lot of like effort to make it like, oh, you got to... You know, you get a powerful boat to get over the rocks. It's like, nah, you just, you just can't do it. And I think the fish kind of repopulate over time. So there's a lot of fish right now, but I can kind of clear out the low-level ones. And I think they take a little bit of time to come back. Now I do not want. I think that's like a. Now I do not want to see. <laughs> okay, that's um. These are kind of little missions to get a bunch of stuff. Uh, freaking. So as you can see, the sharks. There's a lot of different things you can get. Um, here's the whole cat. Oh my gosh. It's 154 fish. I am not <laughs> anywhere near getting almost any of these. I've gotten most of... Well, no, not even most of the one star fish. Oh my gosh, there's um, sea angels. I love those things. They look like aliens. I, I love deep sea stuff. You, you might know that from some of the other games I play, but yeah. My fishing net. Um, oh yeah, you can, there's an aquarium. I forgot about that. Um, well, I forgot to show it. Love game. I love fishing games where you get an aquarium. I had one for PS1 that just so cool. Just because, hey, I like the couch and crisps. Best fish. Lazy gamer fish. Amazing. But yeah, there's three different maps. I've only gotten to one. So you gotta feed your fish. Oh right, that that that's an advertisement thing. I've kind of forgotten which things are ads in this game. Do you have to sell the fish? Not yet. Um, yeah, you kind of you get some passive income by putting fish in here, and by passive I mean not entirely because you still have to um, give me the treasure. I guess it's just there. Um, you have to watch ads and you have to keep them fed to really get it. So it's, it's like a little bit of passiveness. Is anyone else getting extremely tired of um, that Raid Shadow Legends things ads everywhere? Uh, let's sell these boys. Yeah, you kind of... Um... Alright, let's take a look at our uh, settings. Not really a lot. There is cloud save. You gotta manually cloud save, I think. Which is always a little bit risky, because you never know when you're gonna stop playing a game. Not the biggest fan of that. Um, to begin, not the biggest fan, a lot of this stuff is like temporary boosters. Um, I tend to prefer permanent upgrades, which there are permanent upgrades, like I can get Classic Boat. You know what? Ah, oh, we're kind of halfway to the next one, though. Oh yeah, I got the, um, the fancy boy that gets more stuff. Uh, In-app purchases, of course. You know what? Let's get a new boat. I obtained boat! Delightful. I love boat. Do you love boat? I've been known to enjoy a boat. Sea of Lighthouse. I just want to get... Can I get to the next map with this thing? Or is that... Oh, there's a whale of deep water. Oh. So I would say compared to stuff like Abyssrium, there's a bit more figuring out. Though I guess Abyssrium, you know. You tend to need a guide anyway, as, you know, I'm well aware because I made one. But, um... 
I think this game could be m more clear about what your next goal and kind of stuff is, but if you just want some chill fishing stuff, which I mean, why the heck not? Um, it's pretty cool. Oh, see that? <laughs> that I find a little bit annoying. It does have some mechanics that I kind of understand the general purpose for, but like ca catching successfully larger fish. I understand what they're trying to go for there, but I'm not really a big fan. Especially because, watch this. Yeah. My my fancy bait, gone. Now I gotta make this one. This is a little of a pain if you're trying to go for a, uh... Bit. I'm not, I'm not, I swear I'm not doing this on purpose. If you're trying to go for the big fish... No, no, no. Um... It can be kind of a pain in the butt. I've been poking around in this for a while, but, um, a few months ago, anyway. But I, uh... The game kind of tries to give you hints, and they're not very great. Like a lot of mobile games, the English isn't really that great. Oh, what a cheap boy. He's killing me with the cheapness here. I think I can get gold from the underwater chests. It's actually a kind of very much like Abyssrium. I guess the, the character talking to you to give you hints isn't particularly exclusive to that, but... Oh. Ex what? No! Oh, I hate this- f I hate that game so much. That that has the worst ads on mobile. Oh. I think that's ads also. Yeah, you gotta watch ads to open the gold chests or something. It does- it does want a lot of ads. Um, it doesn't usually force them in your face like that one though. I don't remember it doing that before, but... Maybe it does. But as you can see, these things, these items, these these are consumable. I'm not a big fan of that, especially for how pricey they are. I don't know how long they last or whatever. Or do they equip? No, I don't have any. Yeah, I'm pretty sure these all just get consumed. But it's neat. Take a look if you like this sort of thing. I. I guess it's got to be a grind like most mobile games to get you to watch ads and stuff. I just kind of wish that this was just a bit more chill than it is in terms of gameplay because I really enjoy the uh, the music, the vibes, the aesthetics. It's like I just want to go to the next area, but <laughs> it's going to be such a grind. But hey, if you got need a mobile game to grind on, there you go. That's fishing and life. Tap tap here. If you liked the video, make sure to subscribe and leave a like if you want. I read every comment posted, so don't embarrass yourself. Social media links in the description, including my Patreon and any relevant links to the game.